All right, I'm really, really, really excited. Let's talk and do things because we actually don't have that much time. Um, so today, I was talking to Yessa the other day and I said to him, you know, I really, actually since my birthday, because Yessa was like to me, what do you want to do for your birthday? Uh, and I was telling him, actually, you know what? You know what I would really love to do? I would love to go on a trail ride. Um, I, we haven't gone on one for quite some time. Um, I actually really enjoyed uh, going on trail rides, but in our area around here, uh, the pathways are really small. So it's really difficult to go with my stallions and to be able to like safely cross if there's other horses coming, all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's a place that Yessa always used to go to um, in a, a spot in the Netherlands called the Veluwe. And that spot is basically like sand dunes that form kind of like, let's say, in the middle-ish of the Netherlands. There's a lot of forests, there's really beautiful landscapes. It's really, really incredible. From all the uh, stuff he always showed me from there, I was like, okay, I have to go one day. And so the weekend comes and I was like to him, why it's not raining, finally, why don't we go out and have like an amazing trail ride? Um, we weren't quite sure which horses to take, but we've come to a conclusion. I'm gonna be riding Etro. It's very quiet, super chill. And yes, it's gonna be riding Chase. I thought about doing first like uh, Chase, uh, Etro and Emporio. Um, but the only thing is that Emporio has like a bit of a slow walk and Etro has a huge walk. So there's always a bit of a difference. So I was like, okay, I think in order to have like a super quiet, relaxed ride where we're walking at the same pace, Let's get Chase into it. Now, I'm like all over the place because I'm, I'm actually really excited. I feel like a child. And I was saying this to Yessa yesterday. I was like, do you, I don't know if you guys ever watched that show, but let's talk about it quick. Did you guys ever watch a show called Horseland? It was like a cartoon when I was growing up and it was like, it was your typical kind of like horse girl uh, uh, show with like these really pretty horses and they always got up to these like really like, childish adventures um but i was telling him i'll i'll put in a photo here of exactly what i'm talking about but i was like yes yeah, so that's what we're channeling today i want to have the horses looking really really good i want to have like little outfits for us so i wash my green saddle pad i'm gonna be team green this is like so childish but i got so excited because i was like to him we're gonna have this like fun day in this beautiful spot and i was like and yes so yes is gonna be wearing gray <laughs> um oh he's already He's already grabbed it, it's in here because Chase wears a jumping saddle. Um, but yeah, so I was like, let's deck the horses out. Let's have them looking good. Let's go for a really beautiful tray ride and just kind of enjoy being out with the, with the horses. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing. It's actually a bit of a drive. So we're just in the midst now of like packing everything we need. So I'm gonna already travel the horses with like the boots on and stuff. So when we get there, we just pop the saddles and kind of go out there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just in the packing phases, but let me, let me see if I can find Yessa, because he's got to be out here somewhere. I asked him if he wouldn't mind already uh, putting like some hay in the uh, truck. But I don't know if he's around the barn here somewhere. This is Chase. He's ready to go. I gave him a little wash, but he's gone out in the paddock this morning and I can see that he's not so clean. So he might need a little bit of a... Are we seeing all that? Um, so he's coming, Yes is riding him, which honestly I'm quite curious to see how that's gonna go because Chase hasn't been out in a while. Even though he's very quiet, he can be also very sassy. Emporio's in here, but he's out in the field. Oh, the paddock. <gasps> and here we've got Etro, ready to go, bless him. Also, little update on Buri, I've castrated him. <laughs> so he's currently on box rest. Um, this is his first week of, uh, of box rest and uh, he'll have one more week to go and then after that he's, he's good to just go back to, to normal life and we'll start riding him again and building him up slowly. Right, I'm faffing, but I don't wanna take too long. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Chase out, I'm gonna grab Etro out, um, and I'll start brushing them, getting them ready, and then we'll be loading up and then we'll be heading there. Yes, I can tell us when we're in the truck a little bit more about exactly where we're going. Obviously, I've never been, I've only seen photos but he's been actually quite a few times, so he should be able to give us some better understanding. Right. Here 
Here they are, the two musketeers ready to go. Uh, not the cleanest horses, so we're gonna spend just a little bit of time getting them clean. We'll travel them without rugs. They always get uh, too warm. It's about 12 degrees today, so it's actually not cold at all. You have a very cheeky look on your face, and I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Already pulling against the contact, so that will be fun. Can we back up a little bit, buddy? Good, come. Good, that's better on your nose, isn't it? Yeah. Also, last night, I don't know if you guys saw, but this is like that really old leather halter that they've been wearing for just years and it's been left out fully sun damaged. I gave it a good uh, clean and it's come back pretty good. Like, it's in its second spring of life. Anyway, let's get these horses cleaned up. Yes is just gonna come now and help, and then we're off. So I just wanna take 60 seconds to explain why Squarespace is the perfect platform for you if you're looking to build a website or if you're looking to switch over to an easier platform to run your website. I've run my website through Squarespace for many years now. What I loved about it is that they offer hundreds of already made templates that you can just go in and kind of quickly get some inspiration and create what you want from. I can really easily manage my storefront, uh, update stock levels and do little quick updates to my website also through my phone. So when I'm traveling, it's really convenient. They keep coming out with new um, innovations and updates to make all the features more useful for your website and also new creative ideas to make it look always even better and updated. I couldn't recommend Squarespace more highly, especially if any of you like me have no real knowledge on how to do these kind of things, Squarespace will take you through the step-by-step -step guide of how to do everything yourself and save a lot of money in the process. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, then do use my link, which will also support my channel, which is www.squarespace.com slash Matt Harnicky. And in doing so, you receive 10% off the first purchase of a website or a domain. We've actually ended up going for a slightly different approach uh, because the more I thought about it, the more I thought, oh yeah, getting all my nice gear out. It's been raining. God knows how it's gonna turn out. Um, so I've put some like older bell boots on Chase and uh, some older bell boots on him. The rest is pretty nice and clean and tidy. Hi, I'm Etra and I'm definitely gonna pull my tail in the truck every single time, but daddy will not put a tail gun on me today, so I will do it. Hi, I'm Chase. I will most likely pull on my tail too. Lara's been giving Bori a little bit of attention. He's had his tail wash and now he's getting a little spa day moment. He's not looking too bad. Oh my God, the coat's really coming off. Spring is coming and the birds are coming back. Oh, and some of you guys asked, so I'm just gonna let you know, this is the um, Matt Hardeke Equestrian Stockholm Halter from the Dark Arcus collection. These are Katago boots and Escadron bell boots, but they're very old and ruined. These are Katago bell boots. These are from the Dark Arcus collection. They're my boots. This is a Katago halter. Because there's always questions. There you go. Look who it is. Hey. Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. You've been helping getting them ready, but I think we need to load Chase first because he's the heavy horse, so he has to go on the... On the right side. Well, it depends which way you look at the truck. The left side if you're sitting in the truck. <laughs> this is becoming real complicated. Oh. Okay, Chasey, has Etra ever been on the other side? Uh, uh, yes, but I never like putting them there, so. Yeah. I just always feel like it's like the ramp situation and everything. But they have to kind of back out of it instead of go forward. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but uh, he will be fine. You might actually find the experience a relaxed trail ride today because every time we go with one of Yes's horses, they are very Andres excited. Andres is really good. I've also had, here he is, I also have trauma from him being excited though. Why? Right. Well, that time with Lisa. Oh, but then somebody and else. And then also, I also oh, yeah, think Meg one time also with Emporio when we went to the other side there, he was also, but let's walk and talk because we have some driving to do. Here's Mr. Chase. Wash tail, yes. No, maybe Dirty he tail won't. Today. I remember you having a trail ride with him and only rearing as well. Yeah, Chase was like rearing and then coming down and then galloping forwards. So we will see. 
But Chase has been in light work uh, for the past through. couple of months, so he should be um, he should be in good condition to to have a nice trail. We're not going to do you let remember too crazy. when we were in Australia, and then we went to this lake? Oh yeah. We will add the photo in right there. Yeah, that was really nice. And he's always very quiet. Oh no, oh. he doesn't want to go. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> it's beginning. Maybe see if he has to poo first before you put him all the way in. You can just, just take it out. Don't listen. It's fine. I can just take it out, no? Yeah, but sometimes he like steps on it and. Good boy. Good boy. Luckily, both Etcher and Chase both travel really well, so they should be pretty quiet in there together. I hope because where we're going now, they also have wolves. Oh, yeah. Recently. Oh, and a lot of you were asking, Matt, is Yes's logo on the truck yet after the last conversation? There's mine on there from the beginning. What do you guys think will be behind here? Do we think there's a logo? Oh. Yeah, but you, no, nothing. you say these things and then you say, oh, but there's no point doing it now. Well, at this point, it's been See? bloody five years. Um, all right, let's get the other one. I'd like to travel more anonymous. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the, it's very inconspicuous how we travel now. <laughs> when on this side of the truck, there's our whole horses and our faces and everything. And name. Oh gosh, okay. Hey, don't do that. Etra's looking very relaxed, basically a broken hind leg look. It's just so nice traveling and going with horses. I mean, to be honest, all my horses are like this. Right. <laughs> but um, it's so nice just when you have like horses that have been there, done that, and that are just quiet and relaxed. It's just such a Maybe nice Maybe they feel like they're also going on the plane and they just have like some food to chew, some things yeah. to watch. But Typically, oh, oh, <laughs> typically Etro doesn't eat anything in the truck. He just no. kind of like sits on his ass. My horse is always very cute. They're just having their sniggity snack. A bit confused. He's oh. junky and shiny. He's a bit like copper. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Some help, yes, sir, or? <laughs> Well, they were so good at those. I just don't like tying him to that until this is closed because then they can pull back. It looks like a draft Hello? horse. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Hey. Do you not want to bring a fleece for after? No, they won't need it. It's so warm yesterday. And with two big horses in here. Two. Yes, no one will ever know it's Yasser. Who used the truck last? You did. Why? There's not a lot of fuel. I usually fill it up. Excellent. Great. <laughs> right. Like give us a little bit of background where we're going because I was already telling them that like this is somewhere that you've been uh, kind of quite a few times in this but area. That's not even true. Of course it is. You did all your uh, summer camps every year, several camps in this area. Yeah. Yeah. But so, then I stayed at the thing and then we went with someone else into like another area for like a trail ride. No, I understand, but what kind of like what can I expect? But um, here is just very pretty. Like I, where I used to live, we had like also white parts made out of sand uh, yeah. but that wasn't the same here it's like you have huge places which is like kind of sand dunes looking like and you have like yeah. heather yeah, it's like that purple nice. it's like a bushy purple flower i don't think it's in flower now right no in august yeah and you have parts of forest and you have a bit of water you have a bit of everything and the good thing is that you have so much space so you can look around yeah. a lot and you can ride next to each other 
Um, and this is kind of like what we're missing a little bit at home because we have some beautiful tra trails like in the dunes close to the sea. Yes, it goes on those a lot, but as I was telling you guys before with my stallions, if you have people coming from the other side and you have to pass really close, it's just not safe. But you have some to people might still do it, I just don't think it's worth risking injuring uh, other people, my horses, myself, it's just not worth it. You can kind of like know where to go, then it's better. Yeah. But anyways, where we're going now is usually kind of my favorite part of the the Netherlands nature rise. I know yeah. you don't like the things where no, they I look like kind of dead. Yeah. Oh, like that, part, yeah. But that yeah, I can I, also really enjoy. I think because a lot of my upbringing was in Australia and there everything looks like burnt by the sun. I really enjoy like lush green scenery. But I also really enjoy like foresty vibes and that kind of stuff too. And I always think like on a like on a wintry um, cloudy day uh, in Europe, it's super moody. Like it's got like a really nice tone and it's got like a relaxed vibe. And today it's not windy at all. So that's gonna be really nice to enjoy that too for a change because it's just been like windstorm after windstorm after windstorm every single day. Actually, I used to, where I used to work for, and we also went to places like this that was like yeah. the most beautiful in the morning. Where we are going now, I have no idea. I just looked it up online and hopefully there's parking there and then hopefully we can go there. Oh my gosh, this looks like the entrance of it all. Surrounding could always park farms. here, nice next to the trail. Uh, the train, yeah, train. the train's right here. So maybe we don't park there before Etro does like a backwards flip with the saddle on. We're trying to figure out if we're actually allowed with horses at this entrance, but I think so. We just saw a horse before as well. Wait. Oh, you are allowed. There's not with horses outside the horse tracks. Okay, so we got to stick to the horse tracks. We shall do that. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, horses go here. Which left? Here. That way. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Look, it says there. There's like a horse. Thank you. Alright, did I find us a good spot? You did! I'm excited! I like exactly what you wanted, not road passing. We're just in the forest. Yeah, I'm excited to see what lies ahead. Oh my god, the tail, yes sir. Is it like me? So much blood to my head. Right, I think I will just turn him like this. Oh, good. Boy, what a clever boy. Guys, look at the tail. Let me just show you. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> nice. Rat's nest. Good boy. Ho oh, ho. I'm just gonna need a leg up. One, two. Ow, you jumped on my foot. <laughs> One, two, three. I know oh. what's happening. Wait. Hey. Oh. One, two, three. You're not pushing. Oh. You're sliding. Oh my God. Oh, I got a leg cramp. Oh my God. So oh, it's not overweight. <laughs> Maybe we have to stand in the That's stair. how much I had to push myself. <laughs> yes, is having a different approach. It's always much easier when you travel the horse like on this side because you can just use the truck more as like a tack up area. Look, he's right there. Yes, is in a jumping saddle. This is going to be like you're going back to your old roots, yes, sir. I don't know him really yet, so like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Extra is keeping visual company on the, the other side. My saddle's in a shit. <laughs> the saddle fell in poo. So that's great. <laughs> Good thing we took the easy ones out, huh? Excuse me, sir. We need to go forwards. There he is. Only a, a little mild freak out. That's all. That's all it was. Oh. I want to see this. I want to see how you do this with jumping stirrups. I just hope he's... Oh, he won't do anything. You're fine. <sighs> oh. Chase the mouth. Good boy, buddy. Hoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo. There you go, it's a long way up. Oh. What's happening? Are we are we backing him again? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna buck. No, he doesn't buck. He rears, but he doesn't buck. <laughs> Good boy. Boy, maybe it's my I'm the problem. No. 
Look how nice it is here. I do miss myself a good jumping saddle. <laughs> they are nice, aren't they? Here's the bike, looking at the bike, Hello. everything's fine. We've got a light jog already going on here. Oh, let's yes. just try and walk, guys. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Right, I'm gonna try and stick <gasps> this in my, what? I think I see the nice nature ahead. This is where we're entering now. This is like the exciting bit. It's pretty quiet here. Like it's really sad. quiet. I mean, to be honest, we were just close to the road and the, and the, and the train and everything. And then as soon as we stepped out here, there's not really much noise or anything going on. It's super some, relaxed. Sorry, I hope we find some pheasants. So, oh my God, yeah, we love pheasants. How does it work with these trails? You see these roads, are these for horses? Um, I think so, no? Yes, wait. Because it says here, this is for horses if you want to go in here. Okay, let's do that. Look how nice they are. They're like kind of like look meandering at through. And look at the water. But water. look, see guys, this is all sand here. We've had a huge amount of rain and everything is dry. I've got such a huge neck in front of me, Yesse, it's almost difficult <laughs> to see anything else. Cute. Because this is Africa. Oh my god, look how fun it is here. Whenever I see this, I'm like, jumps. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, trot, we're trotting. <laughs> He's like oh. lifting his front legs. <laughs> like a real total off. <laughs> it's giving dressage. Yeah. Dressage in the country. Dressage for Jean for Jante. For Gante. Are you gonna give us a bit of passage on the good old rusty retiree? Well maybe later. <laughs> Let's first get a walk. Yeah. Alright, should we try and have just a slow trot? Yeah. And I'll Okay, I'm doing it one-handed, so not too much, yeah. You wanna be next to each other? Or yeah. What? I think that's easiest because then you won't want to like run. Run faster and no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna sit trot because I think then I've got a little bit more control. <laughs> it's so different than where we are now. Yeah. And I think always everything has its ch charm. Oh, for sure. Like yesterday I was walking with the dogs in the dunes and I thought it's so pretty. We'll miss that when you're not living, when you don't live there anymore. Yeah. But I think this can also be super pretty. Oh, absolutely. Look, we're going up water, you think? No, I don't think it's warm enough to really be enjoying the water like that, yes sir. To be honest, he's actually offering me like a little bit of a second trot. <laughs> he's also not spooking at all. No, I think he's enjoying it, good boy. Ho, ho, ho. We're doing a nice relaxed I think slow we're, oh! What? There's what? a sign with snakes. Snakes? Oh, what is that sign? <laughs> No, someone just graffitied the giveaway sign. No. Yes. I think you might have snakes here. No. There's not a giveaway sign. I come sign. from Australia. There's no snakes here. We have and some... if there is, it's like a lizard in Australia. I have to say for now, it feels kind of relaxing being in this vibe, nature vibe. I know. This, See, is, this, a... this is where you don't love the scenery, right? No, I like this. Oh, I like this. Really like. I don't like it when it's too empty. This is like the perfect amount of like still trees and then some like empty. To be honest, it feels like we're in Africa. You ready, <laughs> little trot? Oh. <laughs> Let me not get used to it. I hope your phone won't fall. I love it when my horses are like this, that you can just like, I'm, I'm giving full Saddle World vibes. <laughs> saddle World? A horse land. <laughs> saddle World was a store in Australia. Good boy. It's very nice. He chases the freedom. Chase is like, I see the straight road and I want to gallop. Good boy. Yes. All right. And what do you think? Is this a good one? Yes. We will be coming back here, that's for sure. So nice for pictures. You never go here for pic shoots. That's true. Oh my God, Etro, you're so relaxed. Look, he's like, <laughs> he's loving it. You never it. really take him out that often, no? No, I haven't. I haven't really had the the opportunity yet, so I'm really loving this. Really <laughs> oh, if I do Citron, it's definitely not better. <laughs> really? People sometimes complain I already shake normally with filming. Well, we get ready for this one. Boy. <laughs> you look like you're enjoying it over there. I am. See. You know what would be nice on like a really frosty day in the morning? That would be so nice as well. Good boy, buddy. 
Good boy, yes. Good boy. Kind of like this is what like I want to have close to whatever the new place is gonna be. I wanna have places like this that I can go out with the horses. I feel like I feel like once or twice a week I would love to just scratch like an arena day, go out yeah. and you can train on these parts. You can I do some trot work. Nice oh my god, there's like a huge pathway <laughs> of the temptation to just like trot or or to get them like if I was here with Emporio, just to like build up the trot into like a little passage and just like just go. We have decided to go into a change of scenery. We saw a little side track. And we took it! <laughs> <gasps> this oh my gosh. Gonna get lost. It's literally like twilight in there. This yeah. is like in the episode of Horseland when there's like a fire or something <laughs> and the horse is lost. Oh, yeah. It's like that. Should we watch Twilight tonight? Oh, I thought you meant Horseland. Oh, that would also be nice. A human. Can you imagine we see a wolf? Huh? Can you imagine we see a wolf? Well, it's possible. No, they are here, yeah. I don't know if people know, but there is actually kind of like a wolf problem in the Netherlands because they've started to come back, but obviously we're a very agricultural country. So there's ponies, sheep, also wolves. I think people's dogs as well that are like being killed by the wolves. Yeah. Good boy here, have your ring. coming from Germany or Belgium, but yeah. there's not enough space here, maybe, I think. Yeah. But okay. Where we live, we don't have them. <laughs> no. My God, Etra will... Okay, come on, boy. I believe in you. All of the bond we've created. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> no scope, no hope. No scope, no hope. Good boy. I wonder what he would have done if we were cantering. If it would have been a refusal, oh or if it would have been a five-star job. What is on the path here on the left? My goodness. It's the forbidden legend there. <laughs> We're like one of these people that also are really obsessed with their games. Yeah, it's like we've uh, just turned into 12 year old girls. Love it. <laughs> we basically always are. <laughs> yeah, with horses. Oh, Chasey. Good boy. He's back. <laughs> Etra's already looking at the puddle like, I don't think so, mister. No trotto puddles. <laughs> Chase, you're doing great. You want to try doing a little jump? Oh, well, maybe. First, need to check out the path. Looks pretty good. I oh, go from here to there, here. then. Uh, yeah, and jump in here. and then come back and jump out. You can do it at a But the only thing is a bit scary because it's like stuck. No, it's on chains. Yeah, and they so are So it will move a little if it has to. Oh no. Oh my god. She's in horse land. <gasps> think change. jumping, think confidence. Oh, well done. Whoa. Whoa, he's actually jumping really well. What's going on? I will not even attempt it on my little croquette here. How was that? Oh my that? god, I'm so impressed. <laughs> the first one I did my legs clicking. No, it was really good. I was really impressed. Look how beautiful it is in here. Wow. Mm. You're happy with that? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Now oh, he's easy. You're like a dream, Metro. Now I can sit normally. Yeah. Look, even like this. He just needed a good old jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, even in a frame. Mm. Oh, wow. I ride on my pinky dinkies now. <laughs> oh, good boy. Next, look at Etro's ears. They're next to each other. <laughs> Very cute. Etro's like really eager. He's like, what's coming next? Where are we going? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful through here. Selfie! <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, let me let me spin you guys around. You have to see this. 
this is what we're Just looking at. filming a video. We're going a little bit downhill. Watch, <laughs> watch it, boys. <laughs> watch it, boys. That includes you, boy. <laughs> Me. <laughs> watch it, horse girl. <laughs> Good boy. He's found his bloody hell. <laughs> He's found his stride. <laughs> Problem for us. <laughs> He looks very cute, though. Ah. It's so funny, he sees the tree, he's like that. <laughs> oh. oh, what's oh. happening? Oh, he sees that tree. Oh, which tree? The one that's laying there. Oh, goodness. Nearly uh, inside another tree. I love you. <gasps> Why? <laughs> oh, my heart is in my throat. Boy. Looks good, yes, sir. Hey. It was really, really fun. We're circling back now towards uh, the end. Hold on, let me, let me swap hands. I think for when you're watching it, you can't see how beautiful it is as we are experiencing it, but yeah. hopefully you still got a little bit of the, of the vibe for how it is over here. Yeah, super happy with how the horses were. Um, of course, they will only get better once we take them out a little bit more and do more of this kind of stuff. But to be honest, I mean, he was perfect, no? Yeah, Etcher was perfect. Also. And Chase did his best. Little enthusiastic, but we don't mind that. Um, I feel like I could watch videos of like people trailing, like, you know, like, like a therapeutic relaxing video. Like if someone just popped a GoPro on their head with like nice music and really beautiful scenic shots, I could watch that all day. Yes. I have yeah. this idea that I wanted to do anyways, to take you on some like little trail holidays as well. Yeah. And Is this our new career? Are we like trailblazers? Uh, oh, podcasters. that means something else, I think. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for having me on this trail. It was fun. Let's get the horses untacked first and then hopefully that all goes smoothly. Oh. On the road again. We literally just go back in the in the truck. The boys are actually super to, to pull back in. Yes. <laughs> um, really well behaved. I did Etro alone, you did uh, Chase alone. Chase didn't have a freak out in the truck again. That's always very handy. Um, so yeah, that was it. Yes, thank you. I really enjoyed that and I was saying to us, I was like, why don't we do this more often? Like we have the, the ability to. But I think that's so often with things in life. It's like, you. oh, I think we're gonna put it. No, anyways. Oh, it's ADHD Sorry. every time. I think um, so often we don't make time for the things you would like to do. Yeah. Um, but it's always a good, uh, good lesson. Yeah, I think you get so used to doing the everyday kind of like mundane things that it becomes sometimes difficult to think like a little bit outside the box. And always these things that don't matter as much, you give more priority because you think they have to get done more. Yeah. If that makes sense? Yeah, no, definitely. And it's kind of like, it gets this like inner child happiness out, like doing this kind of stuff. And I think that's so important. Like it's all well and good, like training in the arena, but then just going out and having a hack and having a gallop, just like feeds the soul. I don't know how to describe it. And for the horses too, I think. <coughs> yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, joining us on this uh, trail ride. If you guys would like to see more uh, trail videos, let us know because there's actually so many places like this in the Netherlands. I was saying to Yessa, how cool would it be to do like a trail day when it's like fully snowing or like a really frosty morning or something like that. Um, we can pack like I wouldn't be opposed to getting one of those saddle cloths with pockets in it and bringing some food and like having a nice little time. So yeah, uh, let us know what you guys thought of the trail in the comments. Do you have trails like this where you live? Um, if not, come to the Netherlands, there's plenty. But that's it for now. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.